Hello and welcome back to the Cool Dad. And once again, I'm here with my co-star Jade. Being as she's a 94 or 80, depending on if you look at the uh, what you look at, what paperwork, um, she's got little minor stuff to work on. So part of what this channel is going to be is me doing some work on her too. So today I decided to come out here because the washer fluid was not pumping out onto the windshield and I wanted to see about fixing that. I am not a mechanic. This is for entertainment purposes only or when I show you the stuff in the truck, informational I guess if you have one. Uh, so again, you can watch what I do. I'm not saying I'm a professional at anything. At least not this so here we and yes I'm wearing my glasses today so what I got done so well let me flip the camera around I'll tell you what I've gotten done so far okay so we're gonna start here underneath the passenger seat which is on the left hand side of the vehicle so if you're driving an American car it's going to be the driver's side but uh, this is this right here is our washer fluid reservoir um, this is the pump that just clips into the bottom and pumps the fluid out and this is the line it travels through to get up to spray on the windshield. It wasn't doing that, so I managed to get those out and disconnected. Oh, this is the power supply for the pump, by the way. Um, got some compressed air, blew it through. In the process, it popped out from the back side of the washer sprayer, so we've been in the process of pulling the dash. Now there is one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine uh, little screws to pull out, uh, and then I realized that I should probably record this. So at this point, ah, uh, there we go. Here is our passenger side um, hose that goes to the sprayer. So I can get in there and show you guys. I will switch to a regular camera at some point and get off my phone. But um, when I was spraying through, blowing the air through, though it. Uh, something popped off and yes there is washer fluid or liquid in my um, glove box not much just a little bit so not a big deal so we're in the process of pulling this apart so we can figure out where the problem is and get it fixed so I'll be back with you guys shortly when I get it figured out okay so after I put the camera down and did a little more rooting around back there I discovered there is a Y and uh, yeah, looks like we found the tube that came disconnected. I'm pretty sure that this is where the problem is. So give me a minute. I'm going to play around with that for a couple minutes and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so yes, this is definitely the problem. Fortunately, I got one of these little straight picks here. So I'm going to kind of run that in there because the air is not forcing that clean. Just going to kind of see if I can get this broken up a bit in here and maybe I can blast it out with the air after that. Hmm, that's loosening up a little bit I think. Oh yeah I think we can get this cleared out now. Give me just a second I'll be right back. Looks like we got this cleared out. Now what I'm going to show you guys this little piece here now this is the end that goes towards the washer fluid pump. There is if I can get the camera see, if you can see that little silver thing in there, that is a ball bearing check valve. That keeps the washer fluid from flowing backwards. Oh, wait. Yes, sorry. It goes up this way, not back that. I said, I'm not a professional. I'm just telling you what I'm finding as I'm finding it. Now, I've been debating, seeing about taking this apart further. Well, let's see if it'll come apart. There we go. And yeah, well, you can sort of see that's cleaned out. And that is as well, even though it's harder to see. Uh, sorry, somebody mowing in the background. Okay. Now, inside here, there is a little spring that keeps that little check valve in place. So be careful not to pull that out if you're doing this. I, that's my advice. Again, I'm not a professional. This is entertainment purposes only. So I think we got that fixed. So let me get this put back together. We'll give it a whirl and see what happens. Okay, I did not get that filmed, but uh, I don't know if you all can see, maybe, can get in here, can you see that? Okay guys, got that put back together, did not get it filmed because you don't want to see a overweight middle-aged guy stretching his wingspan around the dashboard to try and make that work, but it is put back together. So now, 
I got to get the pump put back in there, get some water in there for the time being so I can run to the store and grab washer fluid, and we'll get the pump hooked back up and make sure everything works properly. Okay, hang tight. Okay, water's in, no leaks. When I get the camera and a tripod out here, I can actually record more of that, but uh, no leaks. I've got the pump back in. I'm going to reconnect the power. And I got the key on. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Well, I got one of the two working. It's the one in front of the driver's window. So you know what? I will take that as a win. There we go. Damn. Oh, sorry. I forgot to show you guys. Like I said, one's working. The other one, not so much. But you know what? The one I need works. That's the important part. Okay, Whew. I just raced to get the last few bolts in because it started raining and then quit. So I get the ashtray. Yes, this came with an ashtray. Will it keep an ashtray? I don't know. I have no use for it. Um, I smoked for many years, but then got away from it. So, oops, I do need finishing putting everything back together. I actually have a um, an old Garmin Nuvi, and this is my tip to anyone that is interested in a vehicle like this. Um, I got the, the Nuvi out because it has the option to display your speed in miles per hour, and since this dashboard is in kilometers an hour, the speedometer is, I'm sorry, um, it just means I don't have to math. But, so, let me let me flip this around for you for a second. Hang on. Okay, keys on. Didn't start, just put the key on. Wipers. Oh. So the other one's not working yet, but being as it's raining, I decided I'll come back to that at a later point when it's not raining. After all, I only really need to be see out just I only really need to be able to see out of this side. Um, you know, that's the one I really need to drive. So, one of the things I want to say about this, one of the reasons I went with this particular type of vehicle, one of, there's a several, but one of is because they're, for lack of a better term, simply put together. There's not a lot of complicated BS to go through. The reservoir was under the passenger seat. I followed where the line went, watched it come up underneath. Blew it clear, and like I said, I got. I think that's just the uh, the sprayer on that on the passenger side needs to be cleaned out. And when it's not raining, I can do that with a, a toothpick or a super fine file of some sort. I got a few different tools around here to choose from for that. So that'll get cleaned out when it's not so rainy. <laughs> um, ooh, I got dirt on my nose. That's okay. Gotta go grab a shower anyway. So anyway, we've got. Jade's, well, at least half of Jade's washer fluid pump working now. Well, the pump's working, the whole half of the sprayer's working. So, that is an accomplishment for today, and I'm very happy with that. Um, this week she'll be getting licensed and on the road, um, and I'd like to be able to see if I'm driving. Probably going to get her some new wipers. I actually want a larger wiper for the driver's side here, because it's kind of small. I think maybe 8 inches, 9 inches. Uh, so I'm going to get a slightly larger wiper for there because it doesn't quite come up far enough to make me happy, but that's me. Uh, again, if you've got one of these trucks, they are dirt simple to work on if you have just a little bit of knowledge. And I could have looked up how to do this on YouTube. I didn't, uh, but you all kind of got a brief overview here. So anyway, keep your eyes out. I will keep trying to update at least once a week. Uh, if I get more, check the Instagram. I'll probably have pictures on there when I'm doing stuff. Uh, so you'll see what's coming up. And overall, yeah, that's uh, where we're at. So thank you guys for joining me today. Do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It doesn't cost you guys anything. Helps me out trying to grow the channel. I'm not doing this to be a millionaire. I'm not trying to be, you know, that guy. Uh, we all know he's been in the news a lot lately on YouTube. I'm just trying to share things I do that I enjoy, that I think maybe you'll get some enjoyment out of seeing. Maybe it'll give you some ideas for projects of your own. In that case, go ahead and share them too. Love to see them. It's awesome to be creative and do stuff with your hands. And even if you think you don't have the ability 
don't doubt yourself. Everybody's got stuff they can do like this. Whether it's working on a vehicle, wood crafts, heck, any crafts for that matter. When you create something, you've done something amazing. And I try to create something every single day of my life just because it is such an amazing feeling. So I love you guys. I will catch you all later. And let's grow on this journey together. So like I said, I'm going to say it one more time. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Yeah, please. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Was that too desperate? Probably. But that's okay. I'm out here simping for the likes. What can I say? Wait, do the kids say simping anymore? I don't even know. Love y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next one. A little bit of bonus footage for you. So, I can't speak to any of the others, but this is the Garmin Nuvi. This is the reason why it's in here. The maps are absolute crap. So, we're going to go to View Map, and we're going to hit our speed indicator on the bottom. Now, when I'm driving, this will actually tell me the speed I'm going. Uh, obviously, you've got all sorts of other options here. Let me reset that. Yes. There. Everything's all reset now, so I'll be starting out fresh. But, like I said, because that's in kilometers an hour, and I don't feel like mathing that much. Sorry for the vape cloud drifting in the background. Uh, so I've got this to tell me miles per hour. I mean, it has a compass on it. And here's the thing. You can find these in the thrift stores for dirt cheap, like anywhere from 3 to 5 bucks in central New York. Uh, and you don't even have to mount it on a... I bought the mount for it. I won't deny that. But you can actually figure out any other way you want to mount this. So you've got it if you need it. So that's the bonus footage for today. Much love to y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.